find the leader. I'm into this.
yourself. Like identification tags. I've seen Tanakh soldiers carry them, but never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers they killed. I'll keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later. Knock settlement, and I have to watch my step. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. I don't need a chaplain telling me what battles to fight. The real battle is arguing with you. A lot of wounded. What's going on? Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with a hair like blood. The outlander from the embassy. You killed Greta, Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer's coming with me. How about you answer some questions first?
What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First Sawtooths, then Ravagers. Now, a sandblasted Thunderjaw hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. Had to leave half my hunters behind to fend it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Hearts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. It means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Well, I must be dehydrated. I heard him calling you chaplain. What does that mean? It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Regala was a legend among our clan, fearless and unrelenting. A marshal to Hikaru, chief of all Tanakh. His judgment made flesh. What changed? The Karja king asked for peace, and Hikaru agreed. Regala wanted payment in kind for the atrocities the Karja committed. A Tanakh empire that would push into the east. So she challenged Hikaru's decision. He had no choice but to face her in combat. Hikaru won. She should have died by his hand then, but the chief let her live. For Tanakh, that kind of mercy is a bitter drink. Now that she rides machines and murders marshals, we might not be able to ignore her camps in the desert for much longer. No one in the desert plans touching those camps. This is between Regala and Hikaru. If the chief's strong enough to lead, he'll prevail. If he doesn't, he'll make way for one who is. That's a little harsh, isn't it? So is the desert. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I have something to take care of first. You go on ahead. I'll wait at the outpost for as long as I can. May the Ten protect you then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. Yeah, you do that.
Look again next time you're passing. Over here. Your pack's full, but where's that? Oh, you came. I'm touched. You'll have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon and harvesting parts. Feel free to take any supplies you need. Our prey isn't far. I'm right behind you. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan... Does. Our so-called commanders are always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spear is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to fight tooth and nail to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? Make sure everyone gets all the water they need. No matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'd be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. We're here. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow.
attend to the dead. Make sure their tags get back to their families. If you can harvest the machine hearts, I'd be grateful. we need. I should take these to Draka. <sighs> May the wings of the Ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah. At least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines... I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged too. Will you come with me? Lead the way. Glad to have you along. Gotta shoot the right ammo to set that off. To think, so many have to die just to get water. Did you try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear? Uh, please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that, wouldn't mind having yours at my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Uh, can't blame me for trying. This is it. Where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry, Draka. They were warriors to the end. We should get started. Someone's alive. By the rocks. Mm, I can do some of these later. Speak sense, soldier. Burrowers. Time for a scrap.
Well, this'll do. I should check on Draka and that soldier. going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh, I know I'm racking up favors here, but uh, would you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. Returned. Where's Draka? Just a little late, Chaplain. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a Thunder Jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? Rumors have made their way west. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan but our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. Outlander, will you trade with the Tanakh? Mm -hmm. that I'm ready just full, but the pack has room. Your enemies should always work. Outlander. Commander. Are you near the supplies?
taking over, spreading its sickness. <laughs> the wound give less water these rations barely get us through the day commander there's Chitaka. our children are thirsty doesn't command have reserves exactly I'll bet they're keeping the water for themselves for you, Outlander. You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zorka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Bereka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But with everyone fuming about our water rations, the commander can't spare any soldiers. You mentioned the village up north sends some supplies to the capital. Ashblood? It's a crimson stone that we grind into powder for our ink. Bleeding Mark has the largest supply. Our soldiers there gather and deliver it to us, in exchange for their water rations. Die for water. Everyone in the clan depends on the wound in the sand for their water. Capital and outlying village alike. But the last delivery of Ashblood was weeks ago. Our supply is running low. So must be their water. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village. Find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. 
Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. Something else, Outlander? My face paint will strike fear in your enemies. Take a look. I have to get going. And I have inks to prepare. Stranger, are you looking to trade? Tanakh awaits you here. Choose your moment you to get there. Games. Okay. <laughs> 